Making a video about easter eggs in a superhero game is tough. Superhero games are usually filled with references to not only that superhero's world and cast of villains, but also many characters that fall under the brand's umbrella. I foolishly said that I will cover every easter egg in Spider-Man, after all I'm an easter egg YouTuber, but after playing the game and realising just how many references there are in this game, I might be starting to regret it a bit. So how it will work is like this. This is part one. Part 1 of all of the easter eggs in Spider-Man on the PS4. I'll split the video into parts because if I didn't we'd be here for a very very long time. So sit back, relax and enjoy because we're in for one heck of a ride. So first up we'll take a look at the intro of the game which contains a couple of references to other Marvel characters. Up first we have a post-it note which reads, call TS back RE job offer. TS is obviously Tony Stark aka Iron Man. If you've played the game you may be wondering why Peter hasn't called back yet. The other post-it note says RR Suit Fabric Ballistic Call to Confirm. Now whilst this one is pretty vague, I personally think this is a reference to Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four. What do you think? Up next with a few locations in the game that are famous within the Marvel Universe. I haven't included all of them here as they're actually marked on the map so I don't know if they really count as easter eggs or not, but they're still cool to find anyway. At this location we can find the Sanctum Sanctorum, the home of Doctor Strange. Cool window, but I always get the feeling something strange is going on in that place. Next up is Avengers Tower, which can be found at this location. Avengers Tower is so cool. Just a side note, I'm hoping we get to see a glimpse of the Avengers at some point in this game or DLC. You can also find the Wakandan Embassy here. Wakanda is the homeland of Black Panther. Oh Thank you so much. I wonder if King T'Challa got his powers from being bitten by a radioactive panther. Dude's tough, but that'd still probably hurt. Alias Investigations can also be found, which is the workplace of Jessica Jones. Could you, like, uh, uh, do something? Gotta go, Spidey! Got it. It's not just Marvel's more popular heroes that the game references either. You may not have heard of Lockjaw, the inhuman dog with the physical appearance of a bulldog, and I definitely hadn't heard of him, but he's going to be in the ABC show Inhumans, so we should be seeing a lot more of Lockjaw in the coming months. And one final location I want to share is Uncle Ben Parker's grave, which can be found here. Hey Uncle Ben, miss you. Doing my best to make you proud. <laughs> if you want me to include all of the location based easter eggs in part 2, then let me know in the comments, but these were my favourites. Moving on now to a bit of self promotion. Well, sort of. At the Feast Centre, you can find the pictures of the game development team on the wall, and these guys deserve all the recognition they can get. Ugh, coffee's terrible, but it's free. Talking of self-promotion, you're probably all aware of the long-running tradition of having Stan Lee cameo in Marvel movies. I even made a video on it which is slightly out of date now but I'll link it in the description. Well anyway, Stan has a cameo in this game which is an awesome touch. Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Love. 
love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. On to one of the more random easter eggs now with a reference to another open world game GTA 4. If you start the side quest at this location roughly 4 or 5 hours into the game, you can hear a man called Nico with an Eastern European accent talking about his family member called Roman. This is an obvious reference to Roman and Nico Bellic from Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto 4. They're on the move. Another decision I had to make before making this video was whether to include the items you can find in the backpacks as easter eggs. Again, they are marked on the map, so are they really easter eggs? Just as I did with the locations, I decided to include a couple of my favourites here, but if you want the full list of collectibles, then check the backpack video in the description. Up first is a nod to everyone's favourite visually impaired superhero, Daredevil. One of the collectibles actually contains a business card for his law firm, Nelson and Murdoch. Oh yeah, that blind guy gave me his card in case Spider-Man ever needs a lawyer. Wait, hold on. If he's blind, how did he know I was Spider-Man? The other collectible that I thought deserved a mention is the morbid fact that Peter seems to keep Sandman trapped in a vial. Still not sure if opening this would set the Sandman free, but I'm in no hurry to find out. On to my favourite easter egg in the game so far, that is kinda funny games host Greg Miller and his shirtless Spider-Man. During the run up to the game's release, fans repeatedly asked that Miller's shirtless Spider-Man be included in the game, and during a story mission you can find him partying. I think the fact that Insomniac added this easter egg is a really, really nice touch. Delaware came through. There's no Broadway in Delaware, no culture. No, 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 the stadium. Hey, look at us, the spider Bros. Check out my moves. <laughs> uh, as you all know, I am shirtless Spider-Man. Uh, I've risen to fame over the past year, of course, with my Spider-Man-like antics and no shirtness. Uh, recently, though, my friend and photographer, Greg Miller, has been tweeting, uh, uh, is it September 7th yet? You can also hear a very small reference to the film I Know What You Did Last Summer during a story mission. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Okay, where's that locked door? And finally, I don't know if this was intentional and Insomniac knew the release date or this is purely coincidence, but you can find a shop with the name Tomb Raider, a very obvious reference to Tomb Raider, which actually comes out this week. Requesting an update on our status in Cathedral. Demons are firing on TCP Bravo. Need backup. So that's it for part one. But as I said, I'm sure there are many that didn't feature here. So don't forget to leave your suggestions in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, the like is really appreciated. I love this game, so I'm going to be playing all week and I'll bring you part two as soon as I think I've found enough easter eggs to warrant another video. I'd also like to take this time to thank my generous Patreon backers, Kevin Hummett, Ollie Goes Online and Daniel Graham for all of their support. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.